Here's the low power. Then we'll go in for a closer look. Oh, not that close. Anyone know what this is? Here's the skin adjacent. It's got a little sponge, but it's relatively normal. And then right where this lesion is, you get a whole bunch of kind of dying keratinocytes. And it looks like this probably happened pretty quickly because look, the corneal layer is totally intact and normal. And we've got um, what we call good, you guys got it. We have got ballooning degeneration. The keratinocytes are pale and dying and they're kind of swollen and enlarged. They've got like extra fluid in there, like it, that's the way it looks like to me. It's like they're kind of pumped full of fluid. I don't know if that's actually what's happening, but they look more pale and enlarged um, than usual. And there's also a bunch of spongiosis in between them and they're kind of falling apart. And then in the dermis, so that's what's happening in the epidermis. Part of the epidermis is intact, but the rest is kind of ballooning, swelling, and falling apart with sponge in there. And then down in the dermis, you get papillary dermal edema. And this is nice, you can really see edema here, right? This is really, really pale papillary dermis because there's so much extra fluid. And the little collagen fibers are separated out like strands floating around in that fluid. And then there's hemorrhage around the vessels and perivascular uh, mixed inflammation. So all of these features, um, as you guys uh, beautifully recognize, this is hand, foot, mouth disease caused by Coxsackie virus. And it's uh, often recognized clinically, but as you know, there are some times where it has an atypical presentation and ends up getting biopsied. And so this is one of the most beautiful examples I've seen because we've got this perfect shade of the entire lesion. And you can see how that would look exactly like it does, these swollen erythematous kind of pustular looking uh, lesion clinically because it's swollen up with all of this fluid. So that's ballooning degeneration and all of the edema and the hemorrhage, those are things that often go with Coxsackie virus. And so if I see lesions on the hands and feet where the person has multiple papules and I start seeing hemorrhage and perivascular inflammation, even if I don't see all this epidermal change, I try to think of, could this be Coxsackie that's like in evolution um, or an unusual presentation of Coxsackie because it doesn't, you know, there are forms of hand, foot, and mouth that really don't look uh, like the regular classic um, examples like this one. So this is probably like the best example um, you'll ever see. And again, this is an example of what people describe as ballooning degeneration of the epidermis. Okay, hand, foot, and mouth disease. And here's one other example, a smaller shave, but just to show you, it's actually quite characteristic once you've seen it. Acral skin, this very abrupt lesion that all of a sudden goes from normal skin to here's this swollen area, again with the ballooning degeneration. You can see the, the corneal layer is still intact and it's just like the epidermis has died and swollen and been pushed up by all this edema fluid. And underneath there's some hemorrhage again and edema, even though we can't see as deep into the dermis. So this was also an example of hand, foot and mouth Coxsackie virus. Okay, very nice. Good work, guys.